Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're taking a look at how to install Windows 10 onto a Mac using Bootcamp Assistant. So whether you want to play some games or use a specific piece of software that only runs on Windows, or perhaps you just prefer Windows 10 to Mac OS, this is a quick and simple video showing you how to install it on a Mac. In my case, it's a MacBook Pro from 2019, but it'll work with pretty much any Mac from the last 10 years. So all you need to do is download Windows 10. So you can do that by going to Microsoft. I'll leave a link in the description to the specific page. So you can just go straight there. Then you want to select Windows 10 from this menu, hit confirm, and then select your language. So in my case, I will go ahead and hit English, then confirm. And then it will give you the option here of the 64 or 32 bit there and in most cases you're going to want 64 bit so make sure you get the right one once you click that it will start downloading and it will appear in your downloads folder down here it's about 5.5 gigs so bear in mind it can take a while to install so i've gone ahead done it already so we don't have to go through that okay so once you've downloaded windows 10 from microsoft all you need to do is go ahead and open up bootcamp assistant which you can find down here in Launchpad, and then by default it should be in the Others folder, and you can see there Bootcamp Assistant. If you can't find it, don't worry, you can simply search for it using Spotlight, so hit Command Space, and then start typing in Bootcamp, and it should pop up there, and you can just double click to open it up. You can see there it helps Microsoft Windows install, and then it went ahead and removed any cached folders from iCloud. Once you've done all that, you need to select the install. So you can see by default, it does choose the correct one, but if it's the wrong one, you can go ahead and hit choose and then go to your downloads and then select the correct Windows 10. So you can do that and click open. Then you have the option to choose how much space you want to give to Windows. So it is partitioned your SSD. So in my case, the 500 gig drive, and you can see here the minimum amount is 48 gigs for Windows and you can go all the way up to 400. But it's depending on how much you want, so if you're installing games or downloading a lot of videos, obviously you want more space. So I'm gonna go with 125 gigs and you can't change it. It says there once you've created it, you'd have to completely remove it and install Windows again. So make sure you get that right first time round. So we'll go ahead and hit install. And then it's going to go ahead and download Windows support software. So this should take about five to 10 minutes. So just bear that in mind, but we'll go ahead and come back once it's done that. Okay, so it's just finished up there and we just need to allow it to make changes. So I'm going to go ahead and touch the touch ID sensor or enter your password if you don't have touch ID. And then it's going to go ahead and shut down and it should boot up into Windows and we should be able to start either installing or entering in our details. So you can see that shut down and it's going to go ahead, reboot. There's the Apple logo and that switch to the Windows one and it's just going to take a second to load up. Okay, and then it's booted into Windows. So we'll go ahead and start selecting English United States is the only option there. So leave that English. We want UK, so scroll up. There you go, United Kingdom and United Kingdom there as well. Hit next. And then if you have Windows 10 product key, you can enter it here now. So you don't have the watermark and you can change things like your background, but you don't have to do that. You can click here. I don't have a product key and you can still boot up into Windows. Then you'll have the option here uh, of selecting which Windows 10 you want. We're just going to go ahead with Windows 10 home, click next. And then you need to agree to the license term. So hit accept there and then next. And then it's going to go ahead, copy the files across, install things we need and finish up. So we'll come back once it's done. All right, and then under 10 minutes, it was ready to set up. So we'll go ahead and click United Kingdom, hit yes. And this is just the Windows, Windows set setup. Set so yes. we'll go ahead and hit mute on there. Then we need to select United Kingdom, hit yes. Do we want to add a second keyboard? No, we don't, so we'll hit skip. 
and we'll connect to the Wi-Fi, enter in the password, and hit next. And yes, we'll allow that. It's going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi there, so we'll be able to access the internet. And the good thing is that the Windows uh, will use Boot Camp to get all the drivers. That's why it was downloading them before, otherwise you wouldn't be able to necessarily get the internet before. So go ahead and it's just gonna set up some things. To the Windows setup, going to go ahead and put in my name, hit next. You can choose to enter a password, but we're not going to do that now. We'll just hit next. If you want to use voice, I'm going to go ahead, hit no, and accept. Uh, I will allow it to use GPS, hit accept. Find my device, yes, I'll accept. And we'll just do the basic and hit accept. And then no to improving inking and typing and no to diagnostics, hit accept. Advertising, no, accept. This is all just the Windows setup. So this will be like any Windows device. And then here you can see activity history, you can get things across devices. So we'll go ahead, hit yes. And Cortana, we'll do not now. Okay, and there we go, it's all set up with Windows. Go ahead and close that down there. You can see Bootcamp Installer, so you need to go ahead and hit Next there, and hit Accept to the Terms and Conditions. Hit Install, and that's gonna go ahead and get some more drivers for Bootcamp, so you just have to give it that a minute. And then once Bootcamp's installed there, it's going to recommend that you restart the system, so we'll go ahead and hit Finish and Restart. Okay, and after a quick restart, first thing we're going to do is just check that there aren't any updates. So go into settings down here, update and security, and then check for updates. And there might be a few, so we'll just see. Okay, and there we go, quite a few software updates. So I'm going to leave it to do that and we'll come back once it's installed. And if it needs to restart, we'll let it do that as well. Okay, so once the updates were installed, it had to do a quick restart. We're now back into Windows and we're all good to go. So you can see down here, if we go into the notifications, you can see a few things there from AMD, which will be specific to if you have an AMD graphics card on your Mac. But if you don't, don't worry. And that's everything. If you need any help, do post a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you're wondering how to boot up into Windows or Mac, vice versa, you can do this through this little button down here, Boot Camp, and then restart into macOS from Windows. If you're a macOS, the easiest way is to shut down the computer and then press the power button and hold down the option key and so you'll see a window pop up with the option to boot into Windows or Mac and you can do that. But that's it, how to install Windows on a Mac computer. As I said, any questions, post them in the comments. If you found this video useful, do please hit the like button down below, it really helps out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button over there on the right as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.